the lesson, I will put a uh, timestamp in the little bar below so you can skip all the talking. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Once Around the Ride by Cinderella, which is off of their Night Songs album, their first, their debut album. Uh, very, very good album. Um, I didn't, I chose not to do any of the more popular songs, right, like Night Songs or Nobody's Fool or, you know, uh, Somebody Save Me, any, any of those songs, because there's a ton, there's a ton of videos on those um, on YouTube. So... I wanted to focus more on the on the kind of the deeper cuts, if you will. Uh, this is again every song on this album, in my opinion, is great. Uh, and of course, the great Tom Kiefer, so who's from my home state, Pennsylvania. Um, so I really I really like this song, and I didn't see a whole lot of tutorials on it on YouTube, so I figured I'd uh, give it a crack. So we're in standard tuning for this one now. There have been, I, I haven't played with the actual CD or the record itself, but I know the one that I play on iTunes, if you tune your guitar to standard, A440, it sounds fine. So if you're gonna play through iTunes, um, it should match up standard tuning. I can't say that about like the CD or anything like that. I know there's been some talk of slightly flat, not half step down, but slightly flat. Uh, Gear-wise today, I'm using my 2003 Les Paul Gibson. I'm using my Helix uh, 4 for the for the kind of 80s, kind of chorusy type tone. Uh, that's kind of where we're at on that. And uh, this song's really fun to play. Actually, it's got a lot of cool little parts. Now, this is just going to be the rhythm track uh, for this song. Not any of the solos or anything, and I'm mostly focusing on uh, Tom Kiefer's part. I'm not doing Jeff's part and the leads and all that, so I'm going to be playing what uh, Tom Kiefer plays. And if you look up live footage of this, it's, it's pretty hard to find, but there is one from like 2012, I think it is, uh, where the whole band is actually playing this before they broke up and, and Jeff unfortunately passed away. Uh, so. This is a lot of where I got this from. Most of it I knew. It was one part uh, that I couldn't figure out, but I watched him play it. So here we go. Uh, so basically, this the main riff, it just kind of starts right in. The only way I've been able to play with the song, there's two ways. You can either just let the first measure go by, the, and then come in right after that, or be fast, and as soon as you click play, go right to the, right to the riff. So here's what we're doing here. Let me just kind of zoom in and, and I'll show you what we're doing. All right, so here's where we're at on this one. Um, we're starting basically a chromatic sequence here on the high, uh, low E string. So it's open one, two, three. Then we jump down to the first fret on the A string back to the third fret of the low E and then the first fret on the low E. So it sounds like this slow. So up to speed. Now the 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 chord part is basically uh, this chord on the third fret here, which is an F. I'm sorry, um, actually it's an a, a B flat. But he's playing it just the one finger version. Now there's a couple different ways you can play this. Um, for me, I'm all about convenience. So what I, and because you have to mute the third fret of the low E as well when you're doing this. So it goes like this. Now I find it easiest myself personally, since I'm already here with my third finger when I play that last note, that my third finger's already right here, ready for this chord. So I just kind of use my third finger and rock it back and forth like this. Like that. Um, you just 
have to be careful, right, not to not to play this chord because it won't sound right. Now I've seen other people. Um, you could play it like this. I've seen you can use your pinky and ring finger and then move your middle finger up here like this and go. Or I've seen people move their first finger up here and then do this. To me, that's that's too much work for me. I like to just use as, as less fingers as possible. And you just gotta practice that roll, the finger roll. You'll get it eventually. Um, but you can play it however you want. That's just the way I play it. So that's your your basically your main riff throughout the song. And then when it goes into the verse, you're doing the same thing. The... Now this time, you're basically playing uh, the chromatic thing again. Chromatic on the on the A string as well, so it goes like this. And then you slide right into this chord. So it sounds like this, slowly. So that's one, two, three on the low E. Then open one, two make a bar chord on the third fret. Then you slide up to the sixth fret. Slide down to the fifth fret. And then this little riff. And then you're back to the... So again, let me play that slow for you. So that last part is three, one, open, one, open, one on the uh, low E string. So that's basically the, the, the riff and the verse. Now when he goes into the, uh, when he starts going into the chorus, you do, he goes up here, he goes. So let me play that part for you. When he it comes in on, uh, I believe it's this when you talk sands of time or running or slipping by. So it goes like this. It starts at the uh, fifth fret of the. You're basically making a D bar chord here. Uh, fifth fret of the A in D uh, seventh fret of the D. Slide that down to three, down to one, and then an A chord, then three uh, on the low E, and five on the A, so a G, to one, and back to A, and then this little, so it sounds like this. to the A, you do an open E. And I just always palm you that I go. Now, the, when he, 
actually says once around the ride in the chorus. It's almost like the very beginning riff that you play, but it goes chromatic, but then it goes back down. There's no, there's no A string involved in this one, so it goes. So it's just open, one, two, three, two, one, open. So open, one, two, three, two, one, open. Then he comes up and does this D power chord up to a E power chord. Now, in, to my ear, I hear palm muting during it, so. That's what I hear. Um, so let me play that. So let me, let me play the whole song for you slowly. I'll tell you which part's which. So here's the opening. Now we go into the verse. song um, again like I said I'm not gonna be doing the, the solos or anything like that but it's a really fun song to play it's got a nice groove to it um, and it's actually a good you know finger exercise because you're going song to play like I said it practices your, your finger dexterity your bar chords your palm muting um, so I really dig that song hope you guys like it let me know in the comments um, as always thanks for watching please subscribe <laughs>